Hello everybody and welcome back to my uh, third CSGO custom map feedback video. Today we're taking a look at the Angaroa or Angaroa, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. I'm also not capable of reading the phonetic spelling because, I don't know, I'm a bit dumb I guess. This map was built and sent to me by Timur or T1 Moore, I don't know. The workshop description is pretty long, it is divided into three parts. First being uh, the explanation of the place that was built off, like the reference place. And second, the story about um, why there are terrors. And uh, third uh, is called the level. It's basically an explanation on why it was built, um, the music that uh, the author listened to while building it, and also special thanks. The story is um, following. Islands natives are sick and tired of the Chile government. They started fighting for their independence and are planning to bomb either a Moai statue or a small coffee shop in the heart of the harbor. Although Angarora has a police unit, they weren't prepared for an armed assault. It just happened uh, that a ST6 helicopter was flying nearby and they were asked by the Chile government to help them out until proper forces arrive. The first thing I want to mention is that it um, isn't common to have the DE prefix um, also on the workshop title or included in the workshop title. So um, it will also display in game when you load up the map and um, normally maps only like use the name behind so yours would only be called uh, Hangaroa. Also when starting up the map you can see that uh, you have selected all the modes when publishing. So. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for a normal competitive map. You only really need uh, casual competitive deathmatch, maybe custom. Um, I don't know if you did this to be found more often on the workshop, but I would just remove like flying scoutsmen, wingmen. Wingmen only if you have um, it properly made. Flying scoutsmen, there isn't really a use for this. Arms race, I don't know could be played on this map, but still. I think it, is, uh, it looks just more clean if you have only four or three um, options to choose from. In your email you stated that uh, other than the T-spawn you think that the map is pretty bland and um, yeah you could agree with that, the houses are pretty flat, but I think that uh, T-spawn itself looks really sick and the A spot to the um, statues uh, really well done and also um, I really like the water like what you've done at the coast or right where um, it hits the sand or the stones it looks really really good the only thing that I would uh, adjust really is the, the lighting again if you look at your reference pics uh, the light is really warm and uh, like cozy and the light uh, that you've picked here is quite white and uh, like really um, cold. No, not really cold, but colder than it should be, I think. This place is more built for like this cozy evening feeling, I reckon. When it comes to uh, layout and uh, gameplay, I think that there may be too much bangable spots. Bangable spots are always uh, quite nice to have, um, since then there could be some sick plays and it's just adds a bit to the gameplay. I always uh, think that movement and bangable spots are really nice to have because it just adds a bit to uh, the complexity of the map. But I would um, suggest to reinforce some parts of the wall because like from mid to A this uh, long wall you have the whole 20 meters or so that are bangable and so maybe add some cheats or something to um, reinforce some parts or make it like a stone wall at some point because I think that it, it is a bit, bit too much. Also on the B spot um, I would reinforce the corner um, because if you have a Negev or like an AK there's pretty much no chance to plant on the spot without being killed through the wall. Um, but if you um, reinforce like from here to here and from 
here to here. Um, so we have a like a small safe spot in um, on the bomb site itself. If we stay here at the bomb site, there are also a few other things that I would adjust. Uh, first, this boot boost here is really weird with the foliage. Um, I would probably remove the prop so that it is um, easier to see from the other side. Otherwise, it would be kind of OP because the head really uh, hides well up there. And also the wooden parts on the floor um, shouldn't have collisions, I think. Like these three blocks right here. Um, I want to say that it re looks really nice how it was broke open, but it feels kind of weird bumping over these, even if they are really, really small bumps. Also, um, this boost right here is quite fun. I don't know if you wanted this to be uh, possible, but I think it is a nice addition. And it also gives this quite OP angle, but you're still very open to all the other sides, so I think it's fine to leave it in. The A spot is really fine, I think. Um, the mid could be really fun to play around with, um, but the only thing that kind of um, kind of disturbs me is um, the invisible walls um, when you are right here. Like it doesn't feel natural that you get blocked there. Um, the fence down here is fine because it's kind of obvious uh, that is the end of the um, zone where you can stand on. But there are some spots um, where it just feels weird to uh, be blocked by nothing. Next I want to introduce the fast fixes category. I will probably do this at the end of every map review. It's just some really minor problems uh, that aren't too hard to fix and also aren't too important to fix. First we have this uh, really small texture shift um, at this red house in city spawn. Then we have this wall not quite connecting with the prop. I would recommend uh, turning this pallet because it kind of feels weird standing in the middle of it. But it's uh, quite fine to have this little uh, self boost right there. I think it is uh, nice gameplay wise. Clipping wise it's also uh, just some minor things. Some walls get stuck on. Um, also the floor and CT spawn, for example, you could make it a bit more smooth to run over. Uh, when we are clipping there are also uh, some stairs problems. Exactly two, uh, to be honest. There's this um, one stair from T2B unclipped and the stairs in T spawn miss their last step, so you have this small bump uh, when you're walking up isn't really much, as I said, fast fixes. Mm, when it comes to bumps, uh, also if you walk from T to A, I think you could break open like the floor a bit, or make it a bit destroyed so you wouldn't have these um, bumps again when uh, running, just to make uh, the map feel a bit smoother. Another fast fix would uh, be the tar entities again, um, like in the last map, those are still in the compiled version of the map. Um, once again just add a visc group, uh, uncheck them when you compile and um, issue is solved. Uh, I know that I still have this issue in my own maps, um, but I was a bit too lazy to fix it, uh, I guess. In conclusion I have to say that I really like this map. Um, the visuals are neat, um, the gameplay should be fine too. I'm not quite sure because I haven't playtested it, but um, as you stated in one of the comments, I think, is that you've run several playtests, so I guess you have enough feedback uh, on this side. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want your own map to be reviewed and you're watching this right now, there is an email in the description where you can send it to. Just be sure to add um, the known issues a name that I can say who the author is. 
and obviously the Steam Workshop link. If there are no pictures on your workshop though, uh, please be sure to add an Imgur or anything that I can have a first look at your map. Alright, see you next time, um, hopefully next Sunday if everything goes fine.